Coming up next, a welterweight matchup between George St. Pierre and Carlos Condit. Balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And they separate. A right punch followed by a left there by Connor. These guys throwing early. Oh, big elbow. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice kick that land. Elbow to the head there by George St. Pierre. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Oh, all right, so oh, he catches the leg here, and now he goes for the takedown. Is there? Rips the body there. Elbow there by Condon. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Condon. All right, into full guard here, DC. I know you don't like hanging out here for too long. No, you don't want to stay there. Too much of a submission threat, you've got to pass. Gets the elbow up into the target. All right, working inside the closed guard now. St. Pierre gets hit by another elbow. He is in the danger zone now. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Big punch land over the top. I was going to follow this one. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. He loaded up there on that high kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver. Oh! Both guys landing big shots. So a strong five minutes down. All right, second round is underway. Your Ready? thoughts on what we saw over the Ready? first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round and very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, effective strike there by GSP. Condit's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Both fighters throwing heat now. Outstanding need the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Wow, that right punch has been a money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop him. That was a nice strike. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to take down that finish. Oh, you go here. Nice transition from the underhook into the single leg to get a massive takedown. Those slams really go a long way. 
away with the judges. Huge authority behind that takedown there. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Rubber guard for him now, DC. Some people believe this is nothing more than a stall tactic. What do you think the offensive fighter is trying to do? He needs to regain his posture, right? He needs to shove that foot down from around his neck, shove it down, build your base, get that arm free, and then get back to work trying to advance position to your ground and pound. Right. If you play in there, you can find yourself in a lot of danger if you're not careful. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. Throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's gonna get stuck and he will have to submit. Lands with the ground and pound. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land this beautiful ground and pound combination. All right, rubber guard now, DC, some submissions at his disposal if he so chooses. Yeah, he does have a couple submissions. They're very rare submissions. Go, go, plata, omo, plata. But if the guy has any understanding of submission defense, he knows how to stay safe in this position. So there are advantages to being here, but the danger isn't so vast that you should panic. Yeah, we've only seen a handful of omo platas in UFC history. Condit, ground and pound from half court. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Good corner is able to relay that message to their fighter better in the round. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him... Oh! Oh! He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Shots being landed on both sides here. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Ooh, what a punch. Man, look at the size of that bruising on his body. Oh, oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, Johnson. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. What a fight. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, blocks the shot. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Oh! Swing and a miss by Condit. Just misses with the jab. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Condit. GSP gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Right hand landed. Trying to establish that jab once again. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Takedown attempt late in the round, and he gets it. Taken down by George St. Pierre. Nice elbow lands in range. Well, it looks like Condit's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of slump. Oh, 
And that'll do it. 15 minutes from the books. Oh, what a round it was. And as far as... We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. What a fight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Just look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got hurt bad. That shot blocked by Condon. Oh, straight right. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's the cat is out of surrender, folks. Nice job defensively there as he keeps his hands up, not just protecting his face, but also what is a pretty significant. Oh, another shot right on the button. That is the most debilitating shot in all the fight. And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eaton Levine's called a stop in this contest at three minutes, three seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by... Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also, most times...